Mm. All right, y'all. Back on my public land here. Setting up on the ground. I didn't want to go back to that spot where I was hunting out of my saddle. That wind is blowing directly to that bedding area. And I didn't want to chance it since I'll be able to get back out Sunday morning with the right wind. I had a pretty good 10 point come in on me last time I was out and he was just on that borderline of potentially being a shooter, but I think he was only a three year old. So we decided to let him go. But this spot's been getting tore up pretty good. I seen a doe and a coyote here this morning, but the deer haven't been moving very well in the morning. So see what we can do. So if you guys haven't went back and watched my Texas hunt, you should. So this buck that comes in here, David claims he passes. However, this deer comes in, never gives David an opportunity for a shot. And this is the deer that I ended up harvesting in my video. All right guys, so I'm gonna kind of jump in here for a minute and help David out. So as you just seen, he was set up in one spot. So what ends up happening is, is he didn't get a shot opportunity at that big deer um, that came in that I appreciate that because that ended up being the deer that I harvested, I don't know, a week and a half later. However, what ends up happening is, is David goes back to a spot that is tried and true that him and I actually, um, one of the first experiences I ever had hunting down there with David, he killed a deer called Dream Boy. Um, and that's this deer right here. He killed it out of this exact same spot. So anyways, David ends up moving down to that area. And what's happening is it's raining. Um, so he wasn't running a secondary camera. And then you're going to see how this plays out. I feel bad for him because this is like a, just my heart was thumping just watching the video. But y'all check this out. That's what happened. Let's go.
y'all see the footage the shot was iffy this deer came in broadside i drew back and he turned on me then turned and faced right at me i don't know if y'all can still see this blood he finally it took about 200 yards for him to open up and uh here he is ladies and gentlemen as y'all see he was facing me i tried to put that air on his chest he ducked and turned at 35 yards but it did the job i'll take it be back with y'all in a bit right, y'all so finally made it back to the house um was real unsure about the shot we waited uh two hours before we started tracking didn't really get any footage the bloody the blood was real spotty he uh went about 300 yards didn't really open up until probably that last 75 yards uh you can see right here i mean not exactly where you want to hit them when they're quartering to you but i think that deer ran till he went down probably about 300 yards so it uh probably wasn't the best shot to take but at the end of the day it worked out but i don't think i'll be taking that shot again so what happened he came in walking in broadside he actually came in on me earlier in the day and spooked so as he walked in i drew back well when he got to where i could shoot he turned and walked dead away from me and then turned around and faced right at me while i'm at full draw and we're in a stare down so i let it fly at 35 yards um i had it just on the inside of his shoulder and when he ducked and turned it hit him right behind the shoulder but nothing ever goes like you think sometimes they read the script sometimes they don't but he's here and he'll be going on the wall i hope y'all enjoy